So everybody, welcome to the video. I just wanted to say in this video that the objective of arguing should not to be to be right. And what happens is people usually argue. Have you ever argued? And what happens is people trying to be right. But second of all, which is the main thing I want to say is, they say words that cause separation between the two people. So. Trying to be right is just one of the ways. Oh, sorry about that. Oh, I like the song. <laughs> so, in your tone, the words you use, your body language, and your frustration, and irritation, and anger, in, we can have instead respect, honor, love, compassion, understanding and accept people where they are at and their journey and where they're at physically, mentally, emotionally in this moment. So my objective is to talk to people in a way or even text or write an email or whatever it is, a video message. Talk to people in a way where you, you say something like, hello, lovely lovely person like love and their name like lovely Joanne lovely you know lovely John so when you say that for example hello beautiful soul or beautiful Jane I like the J's today it's integrity it's love it's respect it's compassion you're not trying to make them into a bad or a wrong person, which is the best way to cause separation and f hurt and distance. The best way to wreck a relationship of any kind is to keep trying to make someone wrong or bad. So, if you want to unite, even through a disagreement, then you have to show love and respect. And... Um, that's what you've got to do, basically speaking. So, can you disagree without trying to make it a fight? I, I know sometimes people actually, hurt, we get hurt and we say it's to the person for sure. I know that. We do this. But can we do it without putting down the other person or making it out or insinuating that they're so bad and wrong and that they shouldn't be doing what they're doing? If we can, and we say, okay, I validate your emotions and perspective, and I'm not going to try and criticize your personality, and say, am I wrong, or like, sorry, am I doing something bad here? And they might say no, or they might say yeah. But even if they say no, and they're pretty conscious. If they're not very like conscious, they're probably going to say, yeah, you're really like... It's all your fault. How could you do this? Like, you know? And they might not be telling you their true feelings and thoughts. That's when it's the most difficult because we don't know what to deal with exactly. So that's when we have to try and guesswork and use nonviolent communication and be very polite, loving, humble, and respectful. So at the crux of the matter of all hurt is someone not getting what they want, basically speaking, or what they need. So if we ask them, like, what do you want? Or what do you need? Or... Or actually, like, guess, like, do you need, do you need or want me to do this for you? To give you this? Would you like me to do this? Or do you need space? Do you feel I'm not, do you feel I'm not being respectful? So, try always to learn, actually, is the best, probably, advice I could say. And be willing to say sorry and that you're wrong. And thank you. And compliment and respect them. If you can do all of these, everybody, honestly, I swear to God, so many breakdowns of relations of any kind will be massively reduced and improved. So I'm going to keep this video probably short. Ugh. I just want to remind you. So I hope this video helps. And look after and learn about your own feelings and needs and wishes. You know, what you want and would like and need if you can empathize and give respect love 
appreciation, gratitude, thanksgiving, humility and humbleness to somebody else, then they're bound to give it way more easily to you. They will, they'll open up little by little. It's a difficult one, I know that. And I'm just speaking from experience. So anyone, take care and lots of love. And, uh, please do share the video for anyone you think you could help. Maybe you could transform or save their marriage or life relationships in some way. Otherwise, um, please do um, ask if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below and I'll reply. If you want to befriend me on Facebook, befriend me. If you want to check out my herb shop, I'm into that. If you'd like one-to-one -one coaching of relationships, health, or holistic spiritual life coaching, I do consultations and I'm doing a discount at the moment of 15% off listed prices. So if you see this video, you're lucky. I'll probably even do it in the future. Just tell me and I'll give that to you. So take care. Lots of love. Thanks for watching and much love and respect. I really hope this video helped you. Okay, bye. Thanks. Take care. Lots of love.